Hello world! It's someone to see. Uh, tonight we're going to be going over my Soviet and Russian camos that I have. I got some good stuff from the Afghani war I'm going to show it to you right now. I had to write it down in paper so I wouldn't get it confused. And there it is, wrote down, you know, a little breakdown. But uh, these guys here are sniper suits. And the sleeves would actually, you can roll them up like this, over top of themselves, and they button up there, so they'd be shorter. But that's so, wouldn't you? And the hood will literally come down and cover your helmet, if you were wearing a helmet. I mean, these hoods are huge. Look at that thing. This one uh, must have been in the sun or hit by a chemical, because it's got some marks in it. But it's an original piece. See how it has the extension on the... That's a big old hood right there. But you can see through it when you're wearing it. It's just supposed to go over your clothes for concealment only. See, it's got a bad spot there. But these... My friend bought these for me at a flea market. He said, how much did you pay for yours? Because I already had one. Well, he bought me two. He bought this one. And it is dated. With the tag. And it's dated 1980. Yep. This is another one, a different variant. And again, it's a little faded. Must have been a misprint because it's got a big, huge dark spot right here. From dye spillage or something. But again, this is what the sleeves look like when they're rolled up. You know, then they're like normal length. But this, again, this one's got the hood. It's pant. Uh, the, I don't have the pants of these two. I only have the jackets. Um, there's a tag. And that one's 1980 as well. This is the one that I had found about two years before. And this is more commonly seen, this, this variation. But this is a little bit newer. You notice it's got a green tag or brown tag. And this is from 86. So this was later, later, you know, six years into the war. But I got a set of pants with this one. And it was brand new. I actually had to cut the slots because they were sewn shut for the buttons. They hadn't even been put in, put in yet. And it's perfect. Nothing wrong with it. I did a uh, Spetsnaz salute in this uh, last summer. Uh, this one here is a tropical modern. It's a, called an L L95 uh, tropical. It's real lightweight like cotton nylon blend and it's got the big heavy patch on it this is modern but it's in great you know it's brand new I got this from uh, Scott in Quakertown well, he's got a little store there on Main Street it's got a lot of really cool uh, Russian stuff I have to put his link to his uh, store up because he's got winter uniforms with the big fur collars and the pants that ma match but they're they're not they're not cheap, but they're not cheaply made either. This is a uh, let me see let me go through my book here. That one is oh it's a it's a winter set of the uh, the VSR pattern, and it's cool. This is brand new. It had never been issued. Don't mind the hat. That's a mountain version of uh this this stuff here. But this jacket's really cool because it has a built-in shoulder holster for the Makarov, or Takarov, one of them. Ma the new one. Anyway. And it even, you know, keeps it from flopping around in there. And it opens up right here. There's a button in there. <coughs> On there, they changed it. The button's right here. Right there. You open it up, you put your, your uh, sidearm in there. You walk around, nobody would know. And this has got pants as well. So this is the, the winter. The VSR. Yeah. Now, uh, this green stuff is the temperate uh, summer stuff. It's a little heavier material. A little heavier cotton, more like a BDU material. It's got pockets here. I actually, my friend bought this on eBay and donated it to, to the collection. 
But then I think this is either a first lieutenant or captain rank uh, for the Soviets. I'm not sure. And this has just got like a little wind nape in it to dub double it up around the top. And it's marked here on the corner. It says uh, QTK 37 COO backwards K1. <laughs> but anyway, that's this was like a paratrooper's outfit, and it's got the pants as well. And it's weird because they put foot loops that go, you're supposed to tie up underneath your feet to hold your pants and your boots. Because a lot of times they wore uh, short boots without gaiters. Or they, you know, even the leather boots, uh, your, your pants will fall out of them too. This I got last summer. I was like, what in the heck is that? And it's clearly marked. It's got Russian writing, T-E-H-B. And then it's got a tag inside. Uh, right here. It's more Russian stuff. It's got a bunch of numbers and stuff on it. Sizes, I guess. But I've uh, got the pants. And this is an over uniform. Uh, and I did some research. And it's actually for the in interior uh, ministry interior for the government. So it would be like the, you know, cops that were at the that uh, work for the government, like, specifically. I thought it was pretty cool. It's called Blue Reed version of the, uh, the MVD pattern. So, it's different than that, a lot different. But they make a green version of this as well. It's really, really cool. And, I mean, that would be perfect for duck hunting, what do you think? In the reeds and the canes and cornfields, if it was green... So, oh, I got the Panama hat. This is another part. It's brand new. Still got the tag with the Russian right on it. I got, no, I got this from Jason in Quakertown. I'm sorry, I, I misspoke his name earlier. His name's Jason. But, yeah, there's a... This is the mountain variant of the green there. And it has the dog ear flaps that can tie up under your chin I guess for excessive wind or if it's cold because it does have a little flap in the back it had a I guess their emblem on the front and there's a piece of leather that covers up the, the pin part <clears throat> but there's definitely clearly marked here too so it's a nice piece the guy told me this was from the, the first Afghan I mean the, the Soviet Afghan war but I don't know uh, I just don't know. It's a nice piece. Great hat. Looks funny as hell when you wear it with your, the buttons undone. But there you go, man. There, there's some, uh, oh, I had to bring out, you know, the most wicked weapons platform on the face of the planet right here that was thought up by, uh, this country and their engineers. But, uh, that's just the collection of Soviet and Russian camo. How'd you like that shit? That's a lot of stuff, ain't it? Wait till I get into Eastern Europe. That's a whole nother 10 minute video. So, if this is too long, let me know. I'll make them shorter. But, this is a lot to cover and I wanted to do it all in one big chunk for so you can see it all together. You know what I mean? So, peace. Hope you like it.